Hi there. I'm back. So I thought I'd do one, two videos, you know, back to back so that, you know, I really want you guys to see this. So, um, so really and truly, I'm going to, you know, really put out these, um, I really want my branches to the front. Okay. I, I want some in the back, but mostly, you know, what we're going to see is what, what goes on in the back is a different story. So I got one big one here that really wants to play with me. Here, I'll bring them down. There we go. These are really stiff, so I mean, do what you can with them. And if you can't, don't force them. You don't want to break them. All right. So that looks pretty good, right? It's nice and fluffy. So. The first thing I want to do is, oh, the snow. So there's that red box, what, folks? Isn't that cool? And what I do is I just pull them apart and I start putting them in. I don't have much in there, but, you know, it's still there. All right. So I just uh, got my tools out and I'm organizing myself here. It's the time to start a video, I guess. All right, so this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these. Okay, I get these from my wholesaler. Oh my gosh, they're called Try Imports. They're so good for something like this to have in Canada. It's amazing. Okay, I love them. They're beautiful. They're just the only thing is, is it takes a little time to get your stuff. And well, it does and it doesn't. If they have it, they have it, then they, you know, it's all good. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing, all right? So there we go. So these I put in here, but I want them in there, but I want, so the stem is too long, right? But I do want it, but in there, I don't want all these berries showing, all right? I wanna hide some of them. I'm gonna cut some of this off. And about there, I'd say. I'm gonna turn my glue gun back on. My pot. Now I think I'm gonna stick this guy in here. But I wanna it doesn't have to be straight. It you know, just do what you think is right. If you think that's gonna fit in there and it's gonna be good for you, then go for it. First intuitions. That's go to gut. That's what I do. Go oh, my gut. Say, okay, gut, talk to me. Well, no, don't. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> okay, that looks good. So what I'm doing is that stem, okay, is I attached it to the other stem. So it's glued there, right? It's glued to the stem. But I'm not satisfied with that. Just that. I'm going to take a black zip tie and I'm going to tie that down. I'm going to make sure that this little berry thing does not go flying off because that's, that's who I, Tootie is. Everything stays intact. Glue is fine. It's fine to use glue, but I just think that an added security is not bad either. What do you think? Okay. That looks nice. It's not all in the front. There's a pine cone in the front. There's some branches. It's all good. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to take another one. This is a short one. Okay. I'll put him here. Let's see here. You know, I'll tell you what, folks. If you if you have a video camera on your phone, set it up. And when you're working, video yourself. I'll tell you what, what you see in the camera is a whole different ball game. I think that looks nice right there. Some of these branches. 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, a little bit of boop. Show this attached to the stem here. So here's what happened. It didn't go to the stem, it went to the branches immediately. So you kind of got to think like a carpenter when you're doing this. You know how they put glue on stuff and then they, you know, put screws in? Kind of the same thing. Put glue on it and stick a zip tie on it. It's not going to go anywhere. Everything's got a chance to dry. Um, thing is, is you gotta be careful these pine needles don't get caught in there I'll leave that there it wants to go there I'll leave it I'll let it go I'm putting three in this one this is what I like you know you get they all have their own individual bags I think it's broken. Where did I put that one down here? Put it in here, I think. So I'm gonna cut this off. Make sure you're putting your glue on the right side and you're guaranteed to stick. <laughs> All right. What is it that? Me and my little four inch zip ties. Oh my gosh. You think? I would grow. <laughs> no way. I love my little four inch zip ties. <laughs> Amazing what we get used to. I'm glad I did a second video for this. I really want to finish this for you guys. Because I always, you know, here's what happens I go, I look at it, and then I get inspiration. And when my inspiration kicks in, well, I got to get in front of it and I got to start working it. So that's why, you know, half the times you guys come out with my projects already done. And I go, oh, well, I did this, then I did that. So sorry. Um, so, yeah, I decided to do a second video today so that you guys can see it all. All right. Okay. I want to hide some of these. I don't want all the berries. I don't want to see all the berries. Okay. That looks good, right? I like that. Let's um, see where this guy's gonna go. Do we want him in the pine cones? Do we want him up at the top? Oh, I think I'm gonna put him right in here. I don't know, folks. I'm not used to this tripod, and um, I don't know what you guys are seeing here. I hope you're seeing okay. I would like him near the berries, so... How's that one? I could put him there. Right? And then I can add some cardinal. I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. I'm gonna put him right there. Yeah, baby. And I'm gonna use my glue gun on this one. I'm gonna attach his little feet.
into the branch. So now you see my pine cone is directional right to him. So we're gonna see him, all right? Um, and that's what I want. If you got something that's, you know, um, the same color pretty much, you want something that's gonna make your eye go to see what's there. These little owls and the cardinals that I have are all handmade. And it came from my wholesaler. I, I just, oh my gosh, I love this wholesaler. So, um, I cleaned my craft room, folks. I'm gonna, not a roll of mesh in my room. I decided to throw that in my mesh room and just when I need it, I'll go and get it. So these are the little, little cardinals and people were just crazy about these little cardinals yesterday. So I think I'll put a couple of these in here. But first, I'll finish my berries. Put some red boxwood. We think we need more berries in here. I got two in that one. There's a bowl coming. I think I'll put a little red. I think I'll put one right here. Okay, so I take my boxwood, and these are all, you know, they're all in like the, the pick, right? So you end up like this, right? Well, I just take it and I put my glue. And this, you know, well, this I'm taking a chance with the glue. So, but that's okay, I'll do that. I'll glue that there. And I'm using the branch, so. Um, some come in single pieces off and some come in big clumps. I like the big clumps like this. Ooh, ooh, isn't that beautiful? So this one I'll put right probably over here. Let's put this one here. Like I said, use your, use your camera. It works a well. little. I think I'll put one here. Let me stick one here. Let's do it right here. So oh, now I've got an individual piece here. No, no, I don't. Okay, we just have one super long one. Essentially, I'm just hiding my holes, right? There's a bunch of holes in there. And hide the holes and make it look pretty. Right? Let's see. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna stick one here at the end of this berry thing here because I can see, um, I can see my, uh, my branch. So I'm gonna cover that up. I don't want to move these pine cones. It just looks so good the way they are. So there we go, done. I'm going to use this the rest of this branch and I'm just going to sporadically put it around. And there you go, one box of, one box, red box where it's all done. So let's just put some here. Inside that little owl guy. Maybe not here. Let's uh, let's let's just rethink that. We'll put it over here because my bow. Ow. Boy, that glue, right? I gotta remember the bow. All right, how are we doing? Okay, I gotta remember my cardinals as well. Let's see, I got I gotta pick it up and look at it. Okay, I'm gonna put one over here. I 
could always find some more and put more in, okay? So, there's really not much to this. What have I got here? You know, less is best, right? So, um, let's put just like two little, little cardinals in here. It be good. And then we can make a bow. So, where would a cardinal look nice? I think one down here would be nice. Over here. Trying to show their tails. You guys aren't seeing me. You're just not seeing me. How does he look like that? He's upside down. I'm walking on the table, so I'm just... Now, here's something I heard many, many years ago. When you're putting a bird, like you're decorating, his beak should be up because it's bad luck. <laughs> I've never heard, I had never heard that until I met my mother-in-law, so. I think I'll put him here. But I need, I need to make sure it's that way. All right, we're gonna put him here. Right. So these have little clips, all right? Now. Do I trust those little clips? Absolutely not. What do you think? Right? Let's push this up. So we have our little owl here. I need more boxwood up here to show him off. But I'm gonna start putting some of these sprigs in. Look at my table, guys. This is all snow. <laughs> oh my gosh, right? This is all from this branches. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so back up a little bit. Okay, that's good. So this is what it's looking like, right? That's pretty, right? Okay. So I'm going to put some, I added some silver and I just, it's just these pieces, right? Um, just cheap little pieces from Dollar Store, I believe these are from. I, I'm not sure. I didn't get them from the wholesaler. No. So, you know. I try and get them as high as possible. Some glue on there and then just stick it in there. Where I can. And if it covers something, that's fine too. I don't mind. Go ahead and cover me up. All right, I need more. Well, at least I'm organized. I know where all my stuff is, I can see it. But see, so this is what it looks like. So all I do is I take these branches apart, right? And I cut them. They don't need to be that long. Glitter, glitter time. I'm gonna put all this whole sprig in there because it needs it. There we go. That's in the garbage. Yeah, those scissors work like a boot. You only get scissors that these scissors, folks. My mother sewed all of our clothes when we were kids with these scissors. That's how old they are. Um, so she got that with her sewing machine back in 1959, I think she got her sewing machine. <laughs> yeah, those scissors are old. They've been filed and filed. <laughs> yes, they've had their their day has come, I think. Because they just don't cut at all anymore. I don't have my father to refile them. All right. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I got so many compliments on this. Oh my gosh. Everybody loves the Cardinals. Well, who doesn't, right? 
I don't know. I'm not really a, um, a sports fan. So I was just making a comment about sport, which is very rare. You guys got me a comment from sport. Hey, so let me take a look now. This is nice and glittery. I'm liking it. We need a little piece by my little owl guy. We're gonna spark him up. Oh, hey guys, I'm over here. Okay. I got one more here. I gotta push. See, these are all like on a branch, right? You push your little guys up to the end. So get to see the whole thing and then you can just cut your end off and just stick it in there. So I put this one here. Right beside this cardinal right here so we can see him too. Now folks I'm gonna show you a little trick. I'm sorry I have to get up to get the new this but that's what I'm gonna show you. Now, my little cardinals are full of this snow. They're just filled. So, here's what you do. Take a little paintbrush. And you just take the snow off of them. Now, they don't get moved. And, you know, that's it. They're nice and clean. Right? Very cool. Now, I still need to add some glue underneath, but there we go. I need to add some glue underneath their feet, these little cardinals. There we go. What do y'all think of this one? We need to make a bow. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. You know, you still have to play with it, bring some you know, some of these pine cones in and, and there we go. Now, my next step is a bow and I need to put a block in the back of here. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I noticed that um, the block that I put back there is that thick foam. This one here, I'm gonna take a whole block of flower foam, all right? Because it molds. So. I'll just cut the block that I need and then I can push it into the back of the branch and it will mold into the branch. It's going to go right here. Okay. Right here. I need from here to here, cover it up into a block so that it doesn't hit the house. It doesn't hurt the house or the window or wherever they're going to put these. So, um, yeah, just remember your block because you're gonna have some people screaming at you if this hits the bell hits the window you're done <laughs> yeah that's it okay so let's make a bowl let's make a bowl um i don't know that i want to make the same bowl but i also have to make do i have another bell here I have a, I have this one. I have a ball. Okay, listen. I got two cardinals in there. Maybe I should put two, two owls. That would be cool. You could add whatever you like in there. I just like to make it look as rustic as possible. I love rustic. And something like this is all shiny and you got a piece of rustic on there. Hello. Yeah, maybe I'll put a ball in this one. That'll look cool. Okay. So that's that. Ooh, that was loud. Right? So how easy was that? So now I'm gonna attach my bow here. Um what I did, I'm just gonna show use this as an example to show you what I did to tie this on. I just did this right through okay brought it up here to the top with the knot right and i wanted the knot in the front i tied it up real good and i glued it 
Now it's sitting like this, right? And I put my bow on top of it, all right? And then I got my husband to take this this much off so that, you know, we could hear, we could hear the bell, right? So, yeah, that's what you gotta do. You're gonna have to take this off unless, um, unless you bring your bow all the way down, you know, and then you bring this down. Well, then you're gonna make a longer piece, right? So it's up to you which way you want it, but I think you're more advantageous to um, actually cover this up up here. You put your bow right underneath this pine cone right here. Yeah. So there we go. Hey, Tootie made a whole, well, no, I did make the bowl, but you guys got to see pretty much the whole thing, right? I'm gonna put this other owl here. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. I gotta make sure my, my little cardinals are sticking their heads up. I'm gonna put it on here. Two owls, how about two baby owls? Ooh, that's cute. Right? <laughs> two little baby owls waiting for mama. Oh, that would look cute, I think. Maybe I'll do that. I love their little eyes, right? Isn't that cute? All right, folks. Um, I think I got you guys pretty far with this. Um, so the next one will be the snowman. All right. The other one's downloading right now. And um, so, wow, you guys got a good treat today. You got two videos from Tootie. So Tootie must be feeling good from the shots. All right, folks. Again, I'd like to wish everybody a beautiful day. And please subscribe to my channel so that um, you can follow me with Christmas and everything after that. Right now, I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to finish my poppy. My poppies are being very popular right now. Um, and I have decided that um, I don't want to take away from the vet fund in November. So every poppy I sell in November, I will donate $10 to the veterans fund yeah or the, the legion or whatever so i gotta go and talk to them today and see if i have you know if there's anything legal i have to do for that and um yeah i'm gonna get that ball rolling i think it's only fair i really respect the veterans um you know they do a lot for us and we're not appreciative of them i have a very good friend who has ptsd he fought in the afghanistan war the afghanistan war and um he actually talks to me and I feel very blessed to have that man talk to me. Mm. Anyway, on that note, I don't want to make this sour or anything like that. I just saying that, you know, I do respect the veterans for everything that they do. And um, this is my contribution to them. So on that note, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I am non advertising, okay? I don't advertise nothing. I just show you what I know, all right? Um, and um, yeah, have a blessed day. God bless every one of you. And may the Lord please take care of those Ukrainians. My God, oh, I have nightmares. I seriously do. This is not, we're not in, the, in this, no, there's no reason for this anymore. There's no reason, none. Anyway, let's um, let's be happy, right? I'm going to put that little guy in there. <laughs> the little twins. How cute, right? All right, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Next one, snowman.